I am Blake Oberhansley, and this is my ME305 final project. For my project, I made a gas leak detector, and what it does is it detects the concentration of gas in the air, and when that concentration exceeds uh, a chosen uh, limit, it uh, activates an exhaust fan to get rid of the gas. Um, so making up my project, I have an MQ5 gas sensor, which reads and detects the gas. I have uh, a buzzer that is tied to the uh, DHT11 uh, temperature and humidity sensor. I have an LCD screen to read out values and a keypad for user input. Uh, inside, I have a relay which controls the exhaust fan. Uh, I also wired in an external reset button to make, uh, make it a little more usable. Um, so to demonstrate, I will plug it in, switch, switch on our fan, our startup screen. It brings us to a menu to choose which gas we want to detect. Uh, we'll go with natural gas for now, um, and it asks us to input a limit. I'm going to put 300 parts per million in, and an alarm temperature. What this is, it's the buzzer sounds uh, when a temperature is exceeded, and that's because the gas sensor is, uh, is the accuracy of it uh, is influenced by humidity and temperature. Uh, so here we have it reading the uh, concentration of gas in the air, um, as well as humidity and temperature. Uh, for the sake of time, I have a couple uh, tools to help me. Um, so what we'll do is uh, to simulate a gas leak. I've got a lighter here. And once we exceeded 300 parts per million, the ventilation fan turned on until it uh, de started detecting below that limit. Now so we don't detect the heat we're going to try and add here. Um, the DHT sensor is a little slow. Uh, but we'll so now that it's detecting over that temperature, uh, the buzzer goes off. I'm going to use my little ice pack here to hopefully bring it down. Uh, but it usually takes a minute or two to stabilize. Now that we're below the temperature, all is returned to normal. Um, and if you want to return to the main menu, uh, you would use the reset button here. Uh, that is my project.